goes like this. Way up high in the apple tree, two little apples smiled at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could, and down came the apples. Mm-mm, good. <laughs> so the reason that I like that one so much, especially with toddlers, but I know some fours and fives that we really like it too, <laughs> who can guess why that one is so powerful with the children? Anyone? Movement? Yes, that's one big, I mean, that's what these things are all about. Though. They're getting that movement, that's great. Rhythm, yep. Power. What's that? They get to make a sort of noise. Yeah, the power. <coughs> Children need to feel empowered. That's why you see those little boys that roar like dinosaurs. Rawr, rawr, and they're like dinosaurs all day. Or they, they need, and they, why they love the garbage truck. That big, powerful, hydraulic powered garbage truck comes in, and they're there at the fence, you know, just loving every second of it. It's the power. They, they have this drive for independence and to feel power. Okay, so when they shake that tree as hard as I could, every one of the kids, I've had toddlers sit there, <coughs> and then when I do the shake that tree, they're like, they do at least that part, at least, right? So that's an energy reflection. So you do that power, and you can also do it, but shake that tree as hard as I could. Because you're, you're still shaking it as hard as you can, but you're just doing it quietly. If you need to bring the energy that direction, great. I tend to bring the energy up, and then, <laughs> Sometimes I'm able to get it back down. Most of the time I am able to get back down, but oftentimes if I'm visiting <coughs> another classroom, I bring the energy way up, and then I leave. Because <laughs> that's just fun. 